why is Path of Exile so good and yet free to play? So I'm a bit confused about why this game is so much fun when I didn't even pay for it. I already played stuff like Diablo 3, D2R, Grim Dawn, Titan's Quest, and other stuff. And I have to say that PoE is easily in the top three, but it confuses me why I don't have to pay for it. After all, they do sell cosmetics and stuff like that, right? Or is there an extra class that I could buy? It feels so wrong to have this much fun without paying. Now this was a post that I came across a few days ago and it's definitely one that makes you wonder about Grinding Gear Games business model. Path of Exile is one of the top ARPG games and its most distinguishing feature among its countless competitors is that it is a free to play game. But for a game that drives so much traffic and has generated so much revenue, can it be considered a game that is truly free to play? It is more like a free to test as you play over and over you'll end up buying some premium taps for currencies, maps, cards, and fragments. But if you end up buying them, it is because you are loving the game and will be trapped here with the rest of us. And strangely enough, I completely agree with that statement. In fact, back when I was still a broke college student who was incredibly frugal with his money, I still considered buying my first currency stash tab to be a valuable investment. Thankfully, many years later, it still stands to be the case that I actually believe that. It's free to test. Without stash tabs, it's called Path of Inventory Management. Even if you fill the free tabs with mirrors, you'll have no space for maps. Consider how many maps the map tab holds. 72 maps per slot, and there's like 10 maps per tier on average. Not to mention, each void stone levels up previous maps, adding new slots for 72 more maps. If I had to guess, the maximum storage of maps in a single map tab is probably around 7,000, but it could honestly be double that for all I know. Now consider that a normal tab is 144 spaces. It would take over 50 normal tabs to hold as many maps as a single map tab. And that's if we are only considering the maps. Before purchasing my first premium tab, I also played PoE in its free-to-play environment. And although it has been quite a few years since I've experienced that, I still remember vividly just how difficult it was to deal with all of the currency items that I needed to stockpile. In fact, then, obtaining a 6 link item in your build setup was such a massive power spike that it was imperative you picked up every single jewelers and fusings that you possibly could. And god forbid you ever randomly drop a 6 link item but didn't have enough chromatics to recolor its sockets. Honestly, the game is free to play in the sense that you have all content unlocked and every build or class is open. However, it isn't so much free to play if you actually want a better playing experience, because stash tabs are somewhat mandatory in my opinion if you want an enjoyable experience. You can play without stash tabs, but it's honestly going to become grueling to manage and sacrifice stuff for the sake of tab space. Now one of the biggest things that newer players experience when trying out PoE for the first time is the pressure to hoard every item that they come across. In a top-down action RPG where you blast monsters and drop loot everywhere, players become overwhelmed with how vast the systems in PoE are. And although this game design encourages players to explore and to expand their their curiosity, it becomes very easy to fall into the habit of picking up every single item with the intention of finding out what they're used for later. Take for example the cartographer's chisel. Dropping an item like this during the campaign wouldn't reveal to a new player exactly what it's used for, but it most definitely will allude to a new system later in the game that they still have yet to encounter. These systems all build upon themselves and reward the player for their own attempts at exploration and discovery, and so the player in this scenario will pick up the chisel. You kind of have to buy at least a currency tab and a map tab when you finish the tutorial, but it's still very cheap for the amount of entertainment you get. You definitely get overwhelmed by items that you need to keep, to the point that buying the special tabs to hold and sort them is mandatory. Stash tabs give such a massive amount of quality of life that they are almost mandatory once you get far enough and commit to the game. That being said, they are very cheap, go on sale very frequently, and the game has so much replayability that they are quite the bargain in my opinion. And it starts to become very clear exactly how Grinding Gear Games is monetizing their game on the basis of quality of life. But is it still possible to enjoy Path of Exile even without purchasing a single thing? Didn't have any stash tabs in my first season and I got two void stones and finished my atlas before stopping because my build wasn't strong enough. You can definitely finish the game with the four stash tabs, but it's a lot of rearranging and you are basically solo self-found. I beat Cyrus while fully free to play on my 
my first season when he was the final boss of the game. The next season I played, I beat the feared with just a currency tab and a public tab for trading. You really don't need much if you want to give yourself the trouble. And what he means by that is the trouble of buying premium stash tabs. It seems to me that the general agreement amongst players who have already spent money on Path of Exile is that the initial amount you need to spend for quality of life purposes is actually pretty affordable. I'm 2,500 hours deep and I've never bought a map tab. I usually quit a league once I have my build finished and other people have started doing their currency per hour strats for hours on end. I find it really easy to sort through a dump tab of maps with quick searches so I could never justify the expense. Now I play Ruthless and I definitely don't feel like I need a map tab there either. So an interesting idea that this player implied through his comment is that finishing Path of Exile is a completely subjective endeavor. Although some players may feel that defeating endgame bosses is what warrants the completion of the game, simply finishing one's build is more than enough to satisfy many players. This player also demonstrates that even without purchasing any premium stash tabs, enjoying Path of Exile in a free-to-play style is still possible for every player. But for a game that has seen such incredible growth over the past few years, why does grinding gear games keep Path of Exile free to play? Wouldn't it make more sense for them to monetize their products up front? Free to play is a monetization model, not game devs or publishers doing you a favor. When a game is free to play, it is because they believe they will make more money that way than by charging you to buy the game or pay a subscription. And this is exactly the reason why Path of Exile is free to play. By removing all upfront costs to the player, Grinding Gear Games is able to attract a much wider audience and will have the opportunity to upsell them later. By first getting players through the door and enjoying the game, Grinding Gear Games is able to slowly persuade players to purchase in-game items the more invested they become. In a previous video, I talked about how when clients or customers approach a company to do business, it is usually under the premise that they can receive a product or service of greater perceived value than the dollar amount they are willing to part with. And when players realize that they are receiving so much more in entertainment value at no upfront cost, they become much more willing to loosen their pockets later down the road. Everybody's talking about how eventually you're going to need to spend, but OP wants to point out that every bit of PoE content can be access without spending a dime. MTX and premium stashes aren't considered content, but also yes, I've spent more money on PoE than any other game I've played. And this is the exact marketing philosophy that Grinding Gear Games implements when developing Path of Exile. In today's current market where companies are often incentivized to turn quick profits by charging players up front, Path of Exile stands out like a sore thumb by delivering hundreds of hours of entertainment at no initial cost to the consumer. But what exactly does turning a profit look like for grinding gear games when their business model generates revenue on such a delayed timeline. They make you appreciate the game and then spend money afterwards, much less predatory than other games out there. Still, some MTX prices are ridiculous, but the full experience fee is equal to any AAA title. Anywhere from $30 to $80 will set you for a long, long time, depending on how much quality of life you need and hoarding you want to do. Most people who play a lot think that since it's a free game and they love playing it, they should put some money in it once in a while like me. That once in a while is basically every three to four months where I put a little 20 to 30 dollars in every league. After a couple of years you realize you've put in three to four times more money than if it was buy to play. Get wrecked. It's free and it's so good. Unknowingly spent one thousand dollars on stashes and MTX. Feels good supporting the team. And this is the exact outcome that grinding gear games work so hard to achieve. Building up players goodwill is a task that is so incredible incredibly demanding and has a payout that is so delayed that once you finally push to the point that players genuinely feel guilty that they haven't paid a single dime, the floodgates will begin to open on players in-game purchases. Free? I'm like over $1,000 deep in supporter packs. This is so true. I love this game and buy supporter packs when I can just to support them. It's like a free dose of crack. As soon as you finish the acts, you're hooked and never getting out. Luckily, I'm only 800 euros deep. I will pay six $60 every league and no one can stop me. It feels so good investing in an actual good life service game. Path of Exile is a game that has been iterated upon many times with many improvements made over the years, and its success is nothing short of being very well deserved within the gaming industry. Overall, the reason that Grinding Gear Games will never change its free to play model is because players will continue to support a company that puts players first and saves monetization for later. And so that's all for this video. If you want 
want to find out how Path of Exile consistently exceeds player expectations, check out this next video. 